welcome back to the tarot cottage my name is amy i'm back today with a pick a card reading for you a big welcome back to my beautiful returning subscribers thank you guys so much for being here and for your support of me and each other especially in the comment section i try to read all of your comments i don't get a chance to respond to all of them but um i really really appreciate the support that you show me and each other and i'm really really happy that you are here and you're here to and you keep coming back that's just so <laughs> exciting to me and i really appreciate it so thank you so much for your support and if you have found yourself here for the very first time we would like to welcome you to this space please join us grab yourself a cup of tea and some snacks and we'll have a little chat because we're all friends when we gather here at this table um, so today's pick a card we're looking at the person on your mind and what were they thinking the last time that they saw you so what were they thinking um, maybe you guys were together maybe they just saw you in passing but what were their thoughts the last time that they saw you we have three piles for you to choose from today pile number one with the hawk spirit pile number two with the turtle spirit and pile number three with the tarantula spirit so whatever pile or piles are calling out to you there may be a message waiting today and my timestamps are below as always i am going to jump right into pile number one and again today's topic is all about the last time that they saw you and what was going through their mind pile one hello pile number one you were drawn to the hawk card um, and this is your reading. We're going to start here though. Um, the last time that they saw you, um, what were they thinking? So the hawk is the symbol of power. It's a prey animal. Of course, it's got excellent vision. So I think that they saw you before you saw them, if you saw them at all during this experience, because it really shows someone rising above and looking below. <laughs> um, there's a lot of focus with the hawk though. So they may have sort of known where you're going to be. Um, in some instances, it's like they were they look for you everywhere, essentially. And this time they may have just gotten lucky when it comes to seeing you. So we'll see how this hawk energy corresponds to your reading. What were they thinking the last time that they saw you? What went through their mind? What were their feelings? What were they thinking the last time they saw pile number one, please? So we have here the Eight of Wands. So immediately, and I think it's funny that the um, Eight of Wands comes out because there's the Queen of Swords, uh, because we have the Hawk and the Eight of Wands is all about fast flying communication. It's like somebody who wants to swoop down and communicate with you. Um, I think that as I said, I think this person's kind of focused on you and maybe focused on you whenever they go out. So they may live in the same area as you perhaps, but they're always kind of looking for you in some type of way. And in this, in this point, it's almost like they caught themselves off guard. They were kind of excited that they, that they saw you and they may have even rushed forward to communicate with you the last time that they saw you because they were really attracted to you and they wanted to get to you. It's like they didn't want to waste any time. There's the chariot. <laughs> they didn't want to waste any time. Um, we have this queen of swords. So you could be an air sign, a Le or they could be, of course. It doesn't matter about gender. It's all about energy. Uh, but uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. We also have cancer energy here as well. Last time they saw you, what were they thinking and feeling? The two of pentacles. It's almost like they had sort of planned for this fantastically maybe in their mind. It's like they had mentally prepared for this moment, but again, it caught them off guard. It's like they had mentally prepared for it, but it's kind of like one of those wishes of be careful what you wish for. You just might get it immediately <laughs> without the delay because the two of pentacles is telling me that they weren't ready yet. They weren't, they were, they were excited about it, but they weren't a hundred percent ready for the movement or for the communication to open up or whatever the case may be. They were caught off guard a little bit, but still excited. King of Swords. Back of the deck is the Knight of Swords. And I feel like the, you guys had a conversation the last time they saw you. I definitely feel like there was communication here. And if you were a little, if you're the Divine Feminine, I feel like this person may have matched your frequency. So if you were a little cold to them, they may have been a little bit hesitant to be really warm with you um, because this is the type of person that would wear their heart on their sleeve otherwise. And they didn't, I feel like they were maybe taken a gu off guard or a back, taken aback a little bit by how you received them. 
because I feel like the Queen of Swords was like, whoa, I'm not really prepared. I don't think you were prepared for it either. Um, so it doesn't feel like a planned meeting, but it ultimately was a welcomed meeting for this person or some sort of reunion um, that occurred here. Because you are someone that this person really holds dear to in their heart. And you may have even gone to school with this person, perhaps, because there's like longevity in this connection. Or in the very least, they're saying that you're a really important part of my experience. You had a profound effect on me from the past. And that may have been part of what they wanted to communicate with you. Because when it comes to you, um, they spend a lot of time looking into the past. And there's the six of wands in the reverse position. There was something about the way you received them that made them feel not very confident about themselves in that moment. It's like they had built up this moment for themselves for, for a long time. And then when it was actually upon them, it didn't exactly unfold the way that they expected it to. And this could have been a, your experience as well, of course, because there was something about the way you received them that made them feel not confident and it could be because you weren't feeling confident there's a message coming through that you felt like you didn't look good or the divine feminine here didn't feel like they looked good and they were caught off guard by this meeting and sometimes you know sometimes you know sometimes we will let outward appearances and our fear of that really take over from a really magical moment um but it's like that was there's something about not feeling prepared <laughs> Um, and really, it showed in the way that you received them or it showed in the way that the conversation went. We have here the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of anxiety. <laughs> a lot of anxiety associated with that moment. Because I feel like it was built up in the mind. I feel like there was a large expectations here. Here's the Sun reversed with the Ten of Cups reversed. And it's like we, they didn't get the results that they were hoping that that meeting would bring because I think that in the mind there was this, and even perhaps for you, there was this perhaps expectation, this desire that the next time the two of you saw each other, it would be the precipice of change and that's not what happened. It didn't create the huge amount of movement and the big moment of change that you were anticipating or that they were anticipating either. And so there's been frustrations and delays in that. I also feel though that like there is challenges that didn't exist in the past in this connection that are influencing the ability for that chariot to be, you know, shoved that forcefully in that direction as well. And whether or not it, it whether or not we're disappointed and this, this person sort of feels disappointed in the outcome of the meeting, whether or not they're disappointed, seeds were still planted. Here we have the Seven of Swords. They weren't 100% honest with you in that interaction. Um, if there, and I feel like there was communication during this interaction. And if, if you're not resonating with this message, I do read for the collective. So you can try a different um, pile or a different reading. Um, I do feel like there was communication here. Um, but they didn't say what they really wanted to say. Here's the Queen of Cups. And it's because they didn't feel like you were able to say what you really wanted to say. The Seven of Wands here is talking about challenges and insecurities. And it's like, even though this moment, the situation was built up in our minds as this huge event, this huge opportunity, it, it didn't get, it didn't have the result that was anticipated. And instead it was sort of highlighted the challenges that are, are between the two of you. It's like, you have to get to know each other all over again. There's been a lot of evolution. Um, but the one thing that hasn't changed for them is the amount of feeling that they have. And I think for you, I think it's mutual. I think it's mutual. What were they thinking and feeling the last time they saw pile one? Purification through water, emotional cleansing and rejuvenation. And I think that there was this ex expectation that they could have that experience, that it would precipitate this reunion of emotion and just fill us with that, such warm flowing feelings and, and be really, a, it's like a freedom train it feels like. 
But I think that there was some emotional disappointments because the Ten of Cups is reversed with the Sun reversed. So there's a delay in this, this hope, in this rejuvenation. Uh, we have purification through fire instead. Bare essentials, the naked truth leading to wholeness. And I think that that's what was a fear here was to provide the naked truth. Even with the King of Swords, you can see his shoulders, they look kind of like people. It's like wearing his emotions on his sleeve. It's like they were afraid to bear the whole because they didn't, it didn't unravel or unfold within the confines of their expectations. Back of the deck says flame tree, though, the start of something new. And although it says it looks like something dripping down, like teardrops dripping down from this big red orangey moon, um, because there was still disappointment in the experience. But ultimately, again, Spirit says seeds have been planted. It has press, has sort of created change. I was going to say precipitated change. Um, it has precipitated change, but there's been a delay. It's like we don't see the efforts. We don't see the fruits of our labor yet. You don't see the fruits of our labor yet. And again, this is someone who could be in the way past for you as well. How are they feeling the last time they saw you? What were their thoughts and feelings? We have here elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. And there is endurance here. And there's a certain amount of stamina required from this person. It's like they were always wishing for this and it's like they've never forgotten you they've never ever forgotten you but it's been a long journey for them and it's not over that's the problem is that they were hoping that the last time they saw you that it would press be again i keep saying precipitate change but it didn't do that right away we have here money path the path with money is waiting for you to find it so they may have been very focused on coin or building up new foundations or perhaps you are and we have here ram a stubborn aggressive person <laughs> Back of the deck says ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. And I, there is definitely an air about this message that that is suggesting that there are juggling or or decisions to be made or multiple multiple things pulling us in directions. So your person or you could both be in situations where you're being pulled in different directions at this time, which is why it's like now the timing's just not right. It's like this showed up when we least suspected it we wanted it to happen but the timing just wasn't there um and it was really highlighted by the communication that was between the two of you how are they thinking and feeling the last time they saw pile number one please i'm so attracted to you and that's the thing if you were worried about how you looked in that meeting if you're caught off guard maybe you were just wearing terrible clothes that day but they're like they don't see what you see they just see you and they care about you uh finding out the truth crushed me so finding out the truth of your perhaps situation because i think there was communication here um really kind of wrecked their hopes a little bit so it could be you in the in the situation of indecision i replay our conversation though over and over and over so they are reliving that moment because it's something that they were waiting for so it is still something that they relish which is kind of almost a little bit bittersweet. I wonder if you're afraid or if you're happy without me. So if you're in a new dynamic, the information that you gave them, they wonder if you're happy because they felt like you were holding back emotionally. They didn't get a lot of emotional information out of you because they still want you. It's like, I still want you. And as much as I maybe acted really confident and secure and a leader in my own experience, my life, is not together or as together as it seems. I'm thinking and feeling the last one. Ooh. Oh, we've got a lot going on here. It says here, never jam today. Promises that never come to be. Empty words, not living in the now. And we also have falling. The unknown, descent, momentum, and change. I think they were really disappointed by what was disclosed. I think they were disappointed by your current status um even if their status is similar i feel like they kind of that's less important to them than where you're at um, back of the deck says the right way learning to create what you desire learning to create what you desire and this connection really has taught them a lot of lessons and i think mutually you've learned a lot about taking risks and going after what will emotionally fulfill as opposed to um 
what collectively we agree upon is the right course for our, for ourselves because there's a sense now here of wanting to go into unknowns with you with the four it's about entering into enter in, entering into perhaps the four of wands but they have to release something too so they could be worried about a tower moment let's get a charm bowl for you pile number one what was their immediate thought when they saw you the last time they saw you what was the first thing that popped into their mind the last time that they saw you king of swords this definitely could be an air sign you guys could both be air signs they could be gemini six of cups oh it's like they instantly recognized you it's so sweet with that six of cups energy instantly attracted to you but not really sure not having the confidence to bring forward their full full voice so i feel like they approached you but it was like, it's like feels cautious um and i think that as much as you may have felt like you weren't you know in your imagination you would have looked differently or carried yourself differently in that that experience they were just really drawn to you in that moment It's almost like you took away their ability to speak in that moment for a second. Uh, we have A and K and F and G in the bowl today for letter, or C, sorry, C. We have from, do I know you from somewhere? <laughs> we have the good luck elephant, but his trunk is down. So it's like, it was not a, as much as it seemed like a lucky coincidence, it ended up being something that did end up bringing a little bit of disappointment. We have the Red Cross symbol here as well. So it's like somebody who has to lick their wounds a bit and healing is required with the shamanic feather and the starfish. Um, we do have here the uh, surrender with the seahorse in the bowl. It's the white seahorse. So it's not hopeless situation, but this person may have walked away feeling kind of disappointed and maybe you did too. Um, we also have a penny from 1999. It's like, I want to party like it's 1999. I want to go back in time and experience that period of time with you. All right, group one, that's what I have for, th for you today. I hope that it resonated. And if it did, I would love to hear your story below in the comments section. And I would love for you to be a part of our beautiful soul family here if you aren't already uh, by subscribing to the channel and hitting your notification bell and your like button. It really helps me to bring you guys more content. Um, and you can also check me out for a personal reading if you feel called to, and that link is below on Etsy. I also offer a chance to win a free private reading for those who are subscribed and who drop me a comment below any of my videos this month. So please be sure to drop that comment. But I hope that you come back here for another day and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Hello everyone in pile number two, you were drawn to the turtle card and this is your reading. The person on your mind the last time that they saw you what was going through their mind what were they thinking what were they feeling um the turtle is all about patience um it's definitely someone who can navigate the um someone who's very intuitive perhaps or someone who is emotionally driven as well um but it's like somebody who has been waiting a long time to see you or to have this chance meeting or this chanting chance encounter um and I don't know if you've ever turned your back on a turtle, but as soon as you turn your back on it, it's like it's upon you. <laughs> so um, they may have sort of seen you from afar and then like really rushed to get your attention. So we'll see what comes out through your reading. So the last time that they saw you, what did they think and what did they feel for pile two, please? You have the Four of Swords. The Judgment. So I feel like you were in disconnect for quite a while. Um, at least a period of time that was enough to reflect about wanting to be returned to this person. Um, because it almost felt like returning from the dead. It's like they'd seen a ghost or something. It's like they didn't expect. It's almost like they had gone through a period of like healing. And I also feel like there could have been conflict that led up to the disconnect in some type of way. It may not have been, been huge conflict. It may have been, but it may not have been huge conflict. But it's like they've had time to think about that conflict too. Nine 
Knight of Wands. I feel like they really worried about approaching you. And they actually may not have actually approached you. So we're going to see what these clarifiers say. Because I did see the Two of Pentacles just a moment ago. Which indicates that they may have taken too long to actually execute any type of movement during this chance encounter. Because it feels like a chance encounter here. It doesn't feel like it was planned out. Um, it feels like they've been waiting a while for it. So they were caught off guard. It wasn't something they expected. You may have worked with this person potentially, or perhaps you went to school with them in the past as well. Um, you may have had conflict with them in that environment. Yeah, you may have definitely had a connection to the work realm. Which could be why there was perhaps a separation even to begin with, because I'm getting a message that the interest really really started in that realm, but it never took off because you they acted too slowly towards you or vice versa. It's like somebody didn't act in time and so there was a separation, a natural separation because of that fear of change. So they may be even referring to that last time when you walked away. When you walked away from the environment and they felt like oh my gosh i'm all i'm too late that's what it felt feels like it feels like they didn't speak their truth to you the last time they saw you and this could be this could have been within the work realm so you may have left the the company perhaps or they've left whatever the environment is um it's just they're saying i'm way too late now i did this to myself because it's like we let the institutions that we are part of be the the door blockers of anything more. And even here, the, again, the institution could be the work realm, but there could also have been other um, commitments that you or this person ha are part of that also created resistance in the past here too. We have the Six of Wands and we have the Temperance. They acted fine the last time that they saw you. They acted like everything was okay. They acted confident. They acted, acted secure. When inside, they were dying inside. Holding back everything that they wanted to say and really feigning that confidence being overconfident even i would say like overconfident to try to hide the truth of the situation and that they could be a fire sign even here because there's a lot of um ego sometimes associated with the leo energy with the knight of wands uh, you know and i'm a leo that's not to say that it's there's anything against leos at all um, it's just that sometimes when we're feeling uncomfortable, we will try to overcompensate so that people don't see it because we don't want people to know that we're not confident. And so we try to feign that. They thought they had more time too. And it's like the gavel of justice came down and they're facing the cause and effect of their, their inability to step outside of their comfort zone with you. So it almost feels like they're really referring to the last time they saw you, which would, could have been in the work realm, in the work environment. And they're really kicking themselves because they let their ego stop them from being able to create change. And now they're left with just this want, this desire, because they are too afraid to face that unknown with you. And I will say, it's like, I don't think you dated this person because we don't even, we have a lack of cups. This is somebody who wants to physically mix with you here with the temperance. Um, they wanted ships. They wanted to move your connection into different realms. You can see holding the world in their hands, but never executing a plan until it felt like it was too late. And then you slipped through their fingers, it feels like. Even the horse looking back at his rider like, see? See what all of that pompous attitude got you? It's like, yeah, you should have asked for help. <laughs> That's what the horse is saying. You should have asked for help. You should have asked this person to help you be, by being a little bit more vulnerable. But you can also see here a lack of the Knight of Cups, which is this card of the requiring the vulnerability. We have the impulsive nature. And so they're kind of blaming it on their time of life. They're like blaming it on, you know, this is just who I was at that time. I just, this is, was, I didn't have the confidence. They didn't have the confidence because truly they were really, really intimidated by you. And they're really attracted to you the whole time that the two of you may have worked together or gone to school together. 
as I said, there's a connection to institutions here, connections to, to practical realms. And I just think that they really thought that they had more time. I think they, they thought they had more time to execute change in the situation. What do they currently think and feel the last time they saw you? We have Transmutation Phoenix. And it's the 11, just like the Justice card that we had seen, um, wanting to take your connection and rise it out of the ashes. They're still thinking about it, still. Um, about wanting to have some sort of revisit, new beginning. This judgment referring to sort of a new day. We have here flexibility. And number 12, which is a, th which is a three um, foundations. It's like we needed to be more flexible with where our relationship began. There was a lot of flirtation between the two of you. And they perhaps thought that this flirtation would buy them some time or would... Um, maybe keep you and your energy with them a little bit longer. I don't know. I just, it's, it, but they, again, peeking out underneath is the 16 is the tower there. They took refuge too long. And then the epiphany that came in after that was like a sucker punch to the gut. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Cause they're unhappy with the fact that they waited too long, that they didn't act in the way that they were supposed to, or they should have. And they're, they're paying for it now because they miss you. It's like what it feels like now they miss you. And they saw you, what were they thinking? Ooh. What were they thinking last time they saw you? We have here desk, pay attention to your work. It definitely feels like a work realm here. We have basket, recognition, reward for merit. And we have hat here. You will be playing a different role. So it feels like somebody left a work realm. Someone in this connection left and they were they were pretending to be very focused on work in that last meeting here. Um, they didn't want to let the cat out of the bag. We have bird perched waiting for news, package or letter. And it's, it's like they perched themselves. And this with if this phoenix wants to rise from those ashes, from the honestly, the fire that they that fuels their energy around you, their attraction to you, they didn't act in time. And now they feel like they have to play catch up. It feels like they are running after this queen. Even the horse is like, we're going so fast. Now what are we going to do when we get there? It's like, I have no idea. <laughs> um, they feel like they ran out of time. And they may have run out of time. What were they thinking and feeling the last time they saw? Group two, please. We will be together to, together again. And I left before you could leave me. So they hesitated so that they wouldn't be rejected. And I think they had this, this assumption that they had more time. Their confidence was not a benefit to them. It was not an asset to them when it came to you. I wish I could take back my words or even say something. And I lost myself for a little while in this connection. But I feel like their hesitation, really, they, they're paying for it. I don't react when people mention you because they don't want to let the cat out of the bag that this is affecting them so much. But my life is not together as it seems on the back of that deck. What were they thinking and feeling the last time they saw group number two? I need more time. Please give me more time. I ran out of it. And I mean, you may have spent years working with this person, potentially. If I asked you to stay, would you still leave? If they had spoken their truth, would you still have chosen to walk away from that environment? If you had had, if you'd had the benefit of all of the information, that's what they wonder. They're a very jealous person and um, they're still really jealous when it comes to you currently. And in that realm, in the work realm specifically, if you're resonating with that message, it's a very heavy message here um, about the work connection. Um, they were really jealous of other people <laughs> that would ever try to get your attention. Your family won't like me. You could have a family potentially, so take that as it resonates. I am manifesting you. 
back of the deck says, you are so beautiful. What do you need me for? And that queen of wands, she does cast a pretty impressive shadow um, that leaves people intimidated, that makes people hesitate to approach her because getting rejected is, is terrible, but getting rejected by the queen of wands stings, <laughs> stings a lot because it takes a lot of courage to approach her in the first place. <laughs> so you built yourself up a, a lot. Um, just to be rejected would be really devastating for this person. What are they thinking of feeling the last time they saw you? We have here believe strange encounters. She's holding on to um, a unicorn, holding on to this unicorn, but she's also wearing a crown. So it's like the struggle, the battle between appearances and being judged and grasping onto something truly that feels unique and special and that could slip through. Um, your fingers. I just saw service to the animal world. So you guys may have worked in the realm of in some sort of dynamic concerning animals in some way. How did they feel the last time? And we have mortality. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. And it's, again, forward two is a six, which is confidence. Confidence was their is a big asset but for them it was a, to their detriment because it fueled this ego inside of them and it ended up sort of ending things here the mortality card is the death card it reminds us that everything has an expiry expiry date and that time waits for no one and that's the biggest lesson that you taught this person is that time waits for no one and they should act the next time that they have such a strong um, affinity towards someone Back of the deck says, lead the way, be a leader, show others how it's done. You can help others. And there's this big dodo bird here. She's like coaxing it out. They're really worried that this is permanent. They don't know what to do from this point forward. They don't know how to make change happen. So they feel like they do have to just surrender to how it is. But they're also unable to really release your connection at the same time. So it's difficult for them. What was the immediate their first thought that ran through their mind the last time they saw a pile two, please. Four of swords reverse. They're saying I should act now. <laughs> I should act now. When it's reversed, it's like I need to return to the world. I need to act right now, reveal myself. But then here comes the queen of swords. <laughs> um, it's like they, they wanted, they immediately thought they should just tell you how they feel. Because they almost told themselves, they're like, it's a 50-50 chance that we're not going to get rejected here. And, you know, their higher self was trying to fuel them with more confidence and say, you know, it's a 50-50 chance that she's just going to say yes. <laughs> it's a 50-50 chance that you're going to be fine. Uh, but they were really kind of hoping that you would kind of approach them in that moment and be like, hey, just to let you know before I go, <laughs> I completely am totally in love with you and been attracted to you this whole time. <laughs> they were hoping that you would throw yourself on that sword so that they wouldn't have to. And that didn't happen. So now they are kicking themselves. In the bowl today, we have me versus me. Very stubborn energy here with this charm. Um, it kind of looks like a worm a little bit. <laughs> um, it's somebody who sort of had feelings for you and kept them below the surface, hoping that they would just be noticed. And it was their stubbornness that was ultimately their downfall. We have RX, I think of prescriptions. So you may have worked in, um, as I said, there was an animal connection, but you could have worked in some type of medical field. We have the wrench. A wrench in our plans, which is not as big as we expected it to be. It's like our fears were never, may never have come to realization if we had just acted outside of our comfort zone here. We have songs. So songs remind you of this person or reminds this person of you. We have five of cups and we have here the five of pentacles. They're really struggling with this one. They're really lost in that state of mourning. They're really struggling uh, with their inability to be honest with you in that last opportunity to speak to you. And now they're suffering those consequences. So they feel that emotional destitution twofold here in the bowl. All right, pile two, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonated with you. Um, if it did, I would love to hear your story below in the comments section. And I would love for you to subscribe to the channel by hitting your notification bell and your like button. Um, it truly helps me to bring you guys more content. I also offer a chance to win a free reading with me for those who do subscribe and leave me a comment below in any of my videos. So be sure to hit your notification bell so that I can um, notify you if you're chosen the winner. Uh, you can also check me out on Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to and that link is below. 
but I hope that you come back here for another visit at the Tarot Cottage and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Hello everybody, in pile number three, you were drawn to the Tarantula card and this is your reading. The person on your mind, what are what was their last on true feelings for you? What were they thinking the last time that they saw you? Um, the Tarantula is all about patience. Um, it shows an ex in a, huge amount of patience when it's trying to hunt for food because it makes a burrow in the ground and then just sort of sits in the doorway of that burrow and waits for um, prey to come along so it can jump out and grab it. So this person may have sort of exercised a lot of patience waiting for an opportunity to talk to you in some type of way. So let's see how that is going to um, come into your reading today. What were they thinking and feeling the last time that they saw you, group number three? We have the three of pentacles. Um, it also is being shown with the three of swords and the eight of pentacles. So we'll see how that... Oops, we have one on the floor. Sorry for the wobble. <laughs> we have the four of fire, the four of wands reversed. How are they feeling and thinking the last time they saw group three, please? The three of swords. The four of pentacles with the six of cups. How are they feeling and thinking the last time they saw group three, please? It feels like it was a disappointing experience for them. Um, back of deck is the Three of Cups. And we have the Six of Cups with the Three of Cups. It almost feels like a friendship reunion of some kind uh, that has been long anticipated. And I feel like it shouldn't have stayed in, in the friendship zone. And that's why we have a lot of anxiety surrounding the whole situation. Can we clarify the Three of Pentacles, please? How are they currently thinking and feeling? when they saw the group three last what were their thoughts and feelings you have here transformation the death card because i think there's a well-established foundation between the two of you which could be friendship that is established we have the chariot But they wanted a reunion, so it could have been in disconnect. And they definitely didn't want to be friends. <laughs> they want to be more. We have the Page of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Back of the deck is the Five of Swords. And we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Emperor. I feel like they've been waiting a long time to have this opportunity. And I feel like the opportunity is not open for them. I feel like you're not available or maybe they're not available. Whatever the case is, someone in this connection is not available. And so I think that the last time they saw you, they were filled with some of the realizations of that and the sadness that comes about because they put a lot of their hope in this moment. It feels like they put a lot of their hope in this moment. Here's the emperor and they were left really disappointed by that meeting. Now, they could be the cause of this disappointment. Maybe they hesitated to speak their truth. Maybe they were a little bit too patient here. Um, and sometimes if we wait too long to improve, you know, for perfect conditions to better our situation, sometimes those perfect conditions never show up the way that we anticipate them to. And so we never get the opportunity or it feels like we never got the opportunity when it was ever present the whole time. We just had it to, to apply a different force than we've been applying to create change. Um, because this left them feeling really insecure and really disappointed, honestly, more than disappointed, heartbroken heartbroken because it's like this opportunity is not there it's like it feels beyond their grasp it looks like a fairy or a wood nymph and some people don't believe in fairies and wood nymphs <laughs> so it's like this was something that they had been focused on and dreaming about for a really long time this transformation like if i get the opportunity to see this person again i'm going to make sure i share how i truly feel i'm going to make sure they understand that it's not just friendship for me that that i'm still in this and that I still want more. But there was something about the communication that came through that stopped them in their tracks. 
And it feels like it's in connection with someone in another connection because it, it's like somebody who has to make a decision and that decision could cause arguments and problems within the home environment or within foundations that we've spent time building for ourselves. And so since that moment, I feel like there's just been a lot of, I don't want to say depression, but I do like it's, I don't want to obviously, but that's what I'm feeling. It's just, um, um, it's now I have to handle it delicately because they're, they're really sad because they don't know where to go from here. And with this emperor, with the five of pentacles, they're like, there is nowhere to go from here because it's just going to cause chaos and havoc for everyone involved. And there's no peace left for us. So whatever communication, and I feel like they were burdened by it. And all of these wands now, you can see all of these fantasies, all of these hopes for change are being lit up and just they're being burnt up. They're like, they're not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. It just feels really sad for this person. And you may have experienced the exact same amount of sadness. It feels like it's in conjunction with a potentially, again, a third party situation. And truly, it is a reflection of their focused energy and how they're focused on one goal. If they didn't, it didn't occur to them, perhaps that this, that they would see you and that there wouldn't just be a perfect road ahead for the two of you it's like that's what they envisioned for themselves but that's not what transpired here there are similarities here to pile one so you may have a message waiting for you there as well um but a very heavy heavy heart here because they put so much emphasis on your connection and on the purpose of your connection. I think they really built up this idea of you and them in their mind. And it may not just be an idea, but for them now, they feel like it's not a possibility. So for them, they're like, oh, it's just a fantasy. But I don't, I still feel like there's a lot of mutual love here, a lot of mutual connection, a lot of mutual desires, but it's like, it's like there's a feeling of like, we just can't. We just can't act the way that we want to act in this connection right now. And so they're left really, really saddened um, after that meeting. Truly thinking and feeling the last time I saw. Oh, orphaned. A lot of fives in this spread for you, pile three. A lot of challenges, a lot of internal conflict because of this last time they saw you. And if there was no communication, whatever they perceived from afar is, and I feel like there was communication here, um, but whatever they perceived still left them with the same feeling. They may have seen you with someone else, um, which destroyed their hope. And we have here time to go. And it's difficult for them too, because this is the number four and five equaling a nine. And nines are all about someone who's been, who's literally dedicated their time in this connection to holding on. And now we're being asked to change directions and release. But it's like it gave them the evidence they needed or the permission perhaps that they needed to move forward a little bit. But they, they're they having a really difficult time doing that. Chop wood. They're doing, they're, the chop wood card is all about clearing out energy, about seeing things from a clear, fresh perspective and so that we don't get stuck in this mindset. And we don't want your person to be stuck in despair. We don't want that for anyone. And so they are, they are telling themselves that whatever they could, was communicated between the two of you in that meeting, that they need to now release you, but they're working on it. They haven't done that yet. They're having a really difficult time because they did put all of those hopes and desires for their emotional abundance in your basket. <laughs> their expectations towards this happiness lay with you. And now they have to revisit that whole concept because they've been holding on to this for such a long time, it's like being asked to change direction on a dime. How are they, oops, how are they currently thinking and feeling for pile number three, the last time that they saw them? We have here staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. It's like the wand. It's like a wand, but it's not even ignited. It's like the wand has gone out and they are going through difficult times. So their guides are rallying around them during this period. Because as I said, I feel like it's a delicate situation with their mental health or something. Like they're depressed or they're sad or they're struggling like we often do. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. 
It's like this chair, this ornate, beautiful throne that they've built up for you um, in their mind now requires adjustment, <laughs> requires an, it's empty and it feels really sad. We have here funnel, period of frustration and lessons to be learned. And back of the deck says rainbow, the most difficult part of the situation is over. Um, the thing that this will have provided for your person um, and you perhaps if you're finding your energy mingled in here too, is the clarity that comes in after the storm. When we see the rainbow, it's asking us to see things from the full perspective, from the full sort of gamut. Um, and, and it's talking about um, calm that will come after. They're not going to be staying in this state forever. Um, but there's, there's definitely some really strong lessons that they have learned because of this. And that's often the case. You know, our, I often say that um, some of our, our most powerful lessons are learned in disconnect, are learned in difficulties that we have to experience. What were they thinking and feeling the last time they saw pile number three, please? We have unfinished business. Oops. Make you jealous. I feel like they... I feel like they would just intrinsically get jealous about you a lot <laughs> because nobody puts all of their hopes into one person and then doesn't feel jealousy if that one person is no longer within the realm of possibility. It says this is far from being over, the 13, the death energy. They haven't been able to release you yet. They haven't been able to release their hopes or to figure out if... Um, there is wiggle room within the dynamics of what they've learned about your situation. If I called, would you answer the judgment? And so they're going, their guides are, are precipitating this um, reflection because they, they're trying to get them out of this mindset, this overthinking. They're constantly going over and over in their minds now. The last time they saw you, everything that was communicated, it's almost like they're torturing themselves with the information and with the truth that came forward. And so they're going through this process of reflection. And the purpose of that is to heal. To heal from the past in order to create new beginnings for ourselves. So it's very important. Because they still feel, I'm still holding on. They still feel like, it's like they're not satisfied. <laughs> it's like they're still, it's like everything is still up in the air. It, it, the fact that they got unwelcomed news, perhaps about your current situation, it's like you feel beyond their reach, but it still feels very unsatisfying. It's like it's not a good enough answer for them. So they're, they haven't come full circle of awareness and they are still holding on despite the fact that their guides and perhaps what was communicated to them is urging them to release. It's like they don't know how. They don't know how. Back of the deck says, I would do anything for you. This is an innocent, very, and I believe them, to be honest, with the Six of Cups. I believe that they would do anything for you. I think that they've been really, it almost feels like a really hot, strong crush situation for a really long time. What were their true thoughts and feelings the last time they saw you? I knew exactly what I was doing. And I feel you, even though we are apart. We both know I'm not the one for you. And they're starting to um, feel the real weight of that realization. It almost makes me think of that song too, though, if the world was ending. Because it's like both people who in the past assumed that the other person wasn't really in it. Um a realization has hit them really hard. So this is the realization. Like maybe I'm not the one for you the way that I thought that I was really designed for you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. And I almost feel that this may be coming in from you. It's like, I, it's like you didn't want to cause pain for this person. The timing just wasn't right for us the last time they saw you. And back of the deck says, but I am starting to understand the connection more. The And when we see... Energies like the Six of Cups, when we see a lot of major arcanic themes like this, um, it often indicates that there are really valuable lessons within the connection itself that help us to understand our path, our limitations, our fears. 
And so you've played a really important role and vice versa. Um, you've played very important roles for each other's experience. Some of those lessons have been really hard though, admittingly. And this was a, a big one for, for this person. It says here, set your course, know where you wish to go, have a plan in the right direction. Um, but it's like she doesn't look pleased about having to set a new course. And she doesn't have a lot of direction. She's sitting with the Cheshire cat. So it's like having to stand independently on my own two feet this year, number 22, in 2022, I have to change directions. But if you remember in Alice in Wonderland, the Cheshire cat's always like, we go this way. We have to go this way. So they're trying to redirect their focus now. Because I feel like their focus was really intently upon you. And now that focus they feel is necessary or it's a necessity to change that focus. I wonder what will happen next. Ready for adventure, precipice of change and pausing before action. They do feel a little bit lost. They do feel a little bit lost emotionally. That's why the Nine of Swords is here. That's why the, they're holding on, they're holding on. But the biggest lesson for them here is the fact that they can power through, that they have this strength to overcome this. And here in back of deck, it says law is not justice, rules that are not fair. And it feels like you could be perhaps in another connection or somebody in this in this connection is partnered up or there's other things that are keeping us from being together because it's like it's not fair so whatever role you hold or they hold you may not even be really happy about that role <laughs> maybe you communicated that it's like I would if I wasn't attached like I would totally you know enter into into this unknown with you if I wasn't attached it's not fair the situation doesn't feel fair and says so I can't go back to yesterday you can't go back to yesterday and so they're really suffering in that realization right now. Let's get a charm bowl for you, pile number three. What was the very first thought that popped into pile three's person's mind the last time that they saw them? King of Swords. Four of Swords. Magician reversed. Oh my. So he, they, he or she they they immediately were like this is my moment this is what i've been waiting for this is my moment i'm gonna i'm gonna reveal myself i'm gonna come back to life um but then all of a sudden they were halted it's like the king of swords was ready to wield his truth and then all of a sudden boom wall put up it's like oh it's not possible i have to heal now and then the magician comes in reverse which is scattered energies and like a wasted potential they do feel like they spent a lot of fruitless time a lot of fruitless time agonizing and now they're spending a lot of time agonizing about that so there's um a lot of it's like i wish i didn't know what i know part of them wishes that they they weren't privy to the new knowledge because it's like it took the wind out of their sails and it took away the confidence or the power that they had here we have here f and a we have a little wrench in our plans. We have the leaf of change. We also have here Pisces energy going with the flow. This person could be an, a water sign, very emotional person perhaps. Uh, we have the cherries. I think about virginity when I see the cherries. I think about innocence as well. And I think there's a lot of innocence surrounding this situation. We also have the little tree of life. So there could be a family unit or a growth or something solidly in place. Um, we have the key. We even have the holy family here as a little charm. So there could be a family in place, which is the big deterrent, the wrench in the plans that is sort of stealing away the innocence of the situation. Uh, the peace that they are looking for now in their heart, they are the key to um, achieving. Spirit doesn't want to think that you propelled them into this period of, of reflection and sadness, that um, this is a natural course for them to start a new cycle or to start a new emotional period in their life. So they are the key to their own peace as we all are. All right, my dears, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonates with you. And if it did, I would love to hear your story below in the comments section. And I would love for you to subscribe to the channel um, and hit your notification bell and your like button. It really helps me to bring you guys more content. Um, also would love for you to drop me that comment, especially if you're subscribed so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me that I offer monthly and I'll be posting that winner soon. Um, also, I offer private readings through my Etsy account and that link is below. But I hope that you come back here for another visit at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day.